So this time from the Marvel Legends 2012 Wave 2, we're going to be taking a look at the Spider-Man figure, which actually this is a variant of. The regular figure is the Big Time Spider-Man, which is a new suit that he creates in order to fight a specific threat. Um, as part of his new take on him, uh, Peter Parker has joined a uh, actual laboratory and uh, an R&D thing. So he has the resources available to him to build sort of specific themed suits, uh, much like Iron Man, actually. Um, so there's a neat new dynamic and the storyline was called Big Time, and one of the first new suits uh, they gave him was this black with green highlights, and I think it was like uh, some sort of tracking mechanism. I can't recall uh, right now off the top of my head, but for a variant figure, we actually get a suit uh, that he makes when they start to do um, well of course the uh, uh, big news when they decided to do this but they decided to uh, kill off uh, the Fantastic Four character of the Human Torch slash Johnny Storm. And so, instead of continuing on as the Fantastic Four, the uh, other FF members, Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman and the Thing, decide to create this new uh, iteration of the Fantastic Four called the Future Foundation. As a fourth member, they decide to introduce Spider-Man. And this is the costume that they, he comes up with uh, because the other Fantastic Four costumes are white with this uh, hexagonal symbol on the center instead of the uh, number four on there. It's a great sculpt. Uh, I really like the eyes on here, and I, I'm thinking that this is the, uses as a base the old, um, or the older, uh, black suited Spider-Man that was in the, um, I was one of those waves that I really didn't like the later Hasbro waves. Um, I think it was the um, the Holocaust or um, whatever his PC name was. Um, uh, so anyway, I think they used that as a base, but they've added a, some newly sculpted hands and uh, ankles. Um, and they've just given it a brand new paint job. The paint job is pretty good. Uh, I mean, the posing it does break it up a little bit, but for the most part, um, it's pretty it, it's pretty nice. All the pieces on it are clean. Pretty much, you can get a little fuzzy down at the uh, feet there for some reason, um, right there. But the rest of it is pretty clean uh, lines and everything. The spider design on the front and the back is clean. I'm surprised at how much I like this figure. Uh, it was one of the figures that I didn't think I would be too particularly... Uh, anxious or interested in once I got it um, and really you don't really need to get this because 
what they're doing is with these new um, waves, each wave, they're having sort of a really, an, they're having a version of a, an already established character, an A-lister, and, uh, but they're doing it in a sort of, you know, you don't have to get this figure if you don't want to, uh, because Spider-Man, uh, neither of them come with a piece to build the Arnim Zola, so if you just said, well, I already have a Spider-Man, it's a regular Spider-Man, or, you know, I have the black-suited Spider-Man, or whatever, and you don't want to get Spider-Man, you don't need to buy him to build the Build-A-Figure Arnim Zola, so you can just totally pass on the guy if you want to, but I'm glad I decided to get this group as a set, and he came with it, because he is really, uh, you know, you know, I, I'm finding him to be, he's almost my favorite, um, out of the, out of the, I think my real favorite is the, is actually the Builder figure, and, uh, out of the other figures, and probably, it would actually, it would actually be Spider-Man, uh, out of the separate figures, uh, just because he is, I don't know, I find him very poseable, and he looks quite dynamic in, in lots of different poses, and, uh, you know, he's just, uh, just having, uh, the new ankle system there really adds a lot um, and the the head here, uh, like a lot of these newer uh, new figures, the head and neck system that they've come up with uh, really allows for a lot of posability at the neck. You can they can pose it really far down, looking all the way up, and they still have the left and right. And um, well, he doesn't have it, but a lot of them have the this sort of extra joint that allows them to rock their heads back and forth uh, on the neck. Um, but still, he's pretty poseable. And again, I just love the sculpted in eyes. You know, and you gotta have the Spider Man web slinging pose. Uh, now, I've heard a lot of complaints that his hands are a bit big for the 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 figure and i really don't see it but yeah, they are maybe just a little bit big but i think that's you can get away with it yeah i mean it's not too big of an issue for me but uh every once in a while i do say oh yeah it, they are a little bit big but uh, i think that it's not that big of a deal Let's get into the articulation. Other points of articulation are the same. Uh, he's got extra shoulder joints. Arms go 360 out and in. Rotate at the bicep. Double elbow joints. Wrists rotate and bend. Ab, uh, upper torso articulation. Very articulated, go forward. Um, and not so much back, but you still get quite a bit there. Waist articulation. The legs are the older Hasbro uh, joint there, but it really doesn't, you know. Yeah, it's 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 an annoyance, but um, not. Not too bad of an annoyance because you can still manipulate him with the, uh, you know, by doing that to the leg. You don't need to get in there at the joint and really turn it hard. Uh, he does have the thigh twist there, double knee joints, and um, the new ankle joints that go forward and back and pivot like so, and that 
I think is really the selling point of this figure for me um, because you can get all these sort of crazy angles um, that may not make sense with some of the other characters but with Spider-Man they're pretty cool. So I'm quite interested in trying to find the big time Spider-Man and see if that figure holds up just as good. Um, but so far I have not been able to find him pretty much anywhere so I think I'm probably gonna have to resort to eBay once again so I guess that'll be it for the Future Foundation Spider-Man, the variant figure of the Spider-Man figure in this wave. And uh, stay tuned. My next review will be on the Arnim Zola Build-A-Figure, but kind of with a twist. And until then, I'll see you.